Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy that you stopped by. I am finally decorating for Christmas. It's so crazy how fast these last few months have flown by. I am over halfway through this pregnancy and it feels like it was just yesterday that we found out that we were expecting our second child. But here we are in mid-December and I'm officially getting our house decorated for Christmas. So I hope you get loads of inspiration and motivation to clean along with me and maybe get your space decorated for Christmas or the holidays as well chocolate by the fire because all I want is to spend this day with you let me give you a Christmas a moment will fill with love and joy mm -mm, so beautiful kissing on a mistletoe baby with these last few months have been so busy with so many projects that we've been working on as well as our jobs have just taken us away from being able to get behind the camera or I guess in front of the camera and film but I'm happy to say that I'm hoping we can make this a more routine thing. Um, one of the big projects that we've been working on is painting. As you can see we ended up painting our living room, our kitchen, our entryway, and our upstairs hallway and it's just the perfect color. It really makes this space feel like it's ours. The previous colors were pretty bold um, for our liking and just didn't really feel like this was our home. So we went with this color called Vintage Lace from Bayer. It's such a great cream color. It really brings this house, I feel like, into um, you know the current century um, with the design and just color of it. I, I really, really like it and um, Shonda's too. It just really feels peaceful and that's what we were going for. Um, so we're really happy with that. We've got some other projects that we're working on as well and um, finishing up, you know, we're working on the nursery, which is gonna be our next project that'll be filmed. So make sure you stay tuned for that because that will also be the gender reveal video. So I'm so excited to let you guys know what we are expecting. Um, we're very, very excited. So make sure you stay tuned for that. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button uh, so you don't miss that video. But that's our next big project. Um, we finally got in our new couch that I had mentioned in some previous videos for this space as well. And I'm so in love with this couch. Literally, all of us have fallen asleep on this couch and it's just it's so great i'll leave the one that we got linked down below um we got it at nebraska furniture mart but as you can see it's a lower profile couch but it's so deep which is great because sean's on the taller side um that he can sit on it and not feel like you know it, he's too big for the couch if that makes sense um it's it's a really great couch and we are so in love with it and it looks great in our living room with a fresh coat of paint. So we're really loving the way things are coming together. And I hope you guys are, are liking it too. We can hang out on the beach without freezing. Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas times. We'll be chilling and having a good, good time. Okay, as you guys can see, we have put up the Christmas tree and we're getting ready to decorate here in just a few with more of our Christmas items. But I have a question for you. I am struggling with the idea of leaving this tree undecorated. I know it's not really the thing to do, um, but we actually have another tree in our um, family room, our back den, that we decorated more with like reds and whites and it's fully decorated. In this room, I wanted it to be pretty neutral, and you'll see that here with the Christmas decor that we put up. And I'm really loving this vibe of this full, undecorated Christmas tree. Is that silly, or what are your thoughts? Let me know what you think about leaving this tree undecorated in the comment section below. I'm really curious to know your thoughts. Okay, so I just pulled out the decorations that I'm going to use in this room. This room I want to keep pretty neutral and light. Um, so I 
pulled out my Christmas tree skirt. The creams and greens are gonna go in this room. I feel like they'll really complement the dark floor and the rug. And then I've gotta hang up all of these curtains and curtain rods. All right, this Christmas. We're gonna dance. We're gonna okay. dance, 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 dance. Come on. Dance. We're gonna dance, dance, dance. Have a good time. We're gonna dance, dance, dance. All night long. We're gonna dance, dance, dance. And have a good time. I think Santa's gonna come. We're gonna dance, dance, dance. Come on. Dance. We're gonna dance, dance, dance. Have a good time. I think Santa's gonna come and join us in this song. Oh, yeah. of you can see the kitchen is a mess and I'm gonna get this cleaned up before we start decorating the kitchen for Christmas but um, this video would be hours long if I filmed cleaning this disaster I so say, luckily I say hi. say hi hi I got a piece of Kit Kat that's a Snickers <laughs> luckily with some magic of the camera I'm going to snap my fingers and this kitchen will be clean Okay, the kitchen is clean. We're ready to start decorating. I am starting to pull out some of the things that I wanna use in the kitchen. So we'll go over here and I'll show you just like some of the basics that I have. And I need to go grab the rest of my stuff. So um, I picked up these towels from Target, the Magnolia line this year. And then my wreath that I hang over the window and a couple of new um, Christmas trees that I got with these giant red ornaments. I thought those were so cute. And um, I've got a couple more things to pull out. And same thing that I did in the living room is I'm gonna lay everything out on the table first to see what I have and then we'll start decorating. So I pulled out everything that I think I'm gonna try and use in the kitchen. Obviously Christmas trees everywhere and more reds than what I have in our living room. Um, so. I think this is a good start. I've got a lot of other things that I can pull from if I need to, but let's start decorating. Just a quick before. I've got my plants, I'm watering them, so I'm letting those sit in there um, to dry before I move those.
like I said at the beginning of this video, I'm so happy that you stopped by. I hope you enjoyed this clean and decorate with me. My name is Sydney. This is the Pleasant Street Farmhouse. I'd love for you to stick around by hitting that subscribe button. You're not going to want to miss the next video where it is going to be our gender reveal and decorating our nursery. We're so excited for this little nugget to come. We just can't wait. And I'm excited to share this journey with you guys. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye. Every child got their hearts filled up with joy. Yes, it's Christmas all around. All snow is falling down. All the colored lights lighting up this town. And as I walk outside, Christmas choir sing Merry Christmas to you This time of year uh, Is a time to cheer Let our loved ones Our family and friends Have a Christmas so much love and with joy and laughter let us make memories that stay forever it's christmas today all snow is falling down all the colored lights Lighting up this town And as I walk outside Hear the Christmas choir sing Merry Christmas to you Snow is falling down, all the colored lights lighting up this town. And as I walk outside, the Christmas choir sing Merry Christmas to you.